We are going to start with Seoul's efforts to build support for its North Korea policy. South Korean Prime Minister Hwang kyo an held talks with Chinese President Xi Jinping on Wednesday in Beijing, wrapping up his five-day trip to China. Key agenda items were North Korea's nuclear ambitions, China's illegal fishing in South Korean waters and a U.S. missile defense system. Oh Seong starts us off. South Korea and China have strongly reaffirmed their stance against North Korea's recent missile provocations and its ongoing nuclear program. Prime Minister Hwang kyo an met with Chinese President Xi Jinping on Wednesday in Beijing, where they largely discussed how they'll cooperate on measures against Pyongyang's provocations. President Xi told Hwang that China does not accept the North as a nuclear state, nor its so-called Pyongyang policy, which simultaneously pursues nuclear and economic development. He added that China is fully abiding by the latest UN Security Council resolution, which requires all UN member states to submit a report on how they're applying sanctions on the North, which Beijing recently did on Tuesday. Prime Minister Huang emphasized the importance of such measures, putting UN resolutions into action, as well as ramping up pressure on Pyongyang. However, when it came to the issue of deploying the United States Terminal High Altitude Area Defense System, or THAAD, to South Korea, President Xi expressed his concerns, urging Seoul to take Beijing's rightful security concerns into consideration. Moving on to other issues, the two officials picked up where Hwang had left off with Premier Lee Ka-chang the day before, on China's illegal fishing activities in South Korean waters. President Xi said that China is making efforts to resolve the problem, but that time is needed due to administrative constraints. In terms of economic cooperation, Prime Minister Hwang and President Xi agreed to combine efforts on Brexit-related measures at an upcoming G20 meeting, as well as accelerate the implementation of the South Korea-China FTA and the Asia Infrastructure Investment Bank. I hope these talks will contribute to regional security and common prosperity. South Korea and China are closely communicating and pursuing common gain within the international community. During the 40-minute meeting, Huang and Xi also discussed ways to deepen cultural, educational and academic ties, as well as promote further exchanges between high-level government officials. Oh Soo-young, Arirang News.